As defined, self-hypnosis euro, also called a hypnosis euro, refers to a form of hypnosis where self-induction is used. Here, the person who practices self-hypnosis uses auto-suggestion or self-suggestion to be able to adjust or overcome certain conditions or situations. In most cases, self-hypnosis is used as a therapeutic supplement along with hypnotherapy. Through research, you can get extensive information about the practice and you will have a better understanding how it would benefit you the most. You can do your research by getting online and serve websites that offer information aligned with the practice. Aside from the internet, you can also get information on various books as well as different magazines. Here, you can find interesting articles that can give you a better understanding of the practice especially on the methods that can be used according to the level of skills of the person. Once enough information has been gathered, one can now start with self-hypnosis. Today, most of the self-hypnosis methods and techniques that are used may include induction procedures, methods for communicating with the subconscious part of the person's mind and suggestion formulation and application. Here are two of the most commonly used methods for self-hypnosis. 1. Self-hypnosis induction script. This refers to the induction talk for people who will be practicing self-hypnosis. For many people, they can use this as a guide to thinking their way down. In many instances, this is being recorded and can only be listened to during the practice itself. 2. A talk questioning. This refers to the set of methods and techniques that are used to get information right from the person's subconscious mind. Many people who practice self-hypnosis use its subset, a demoted questioning the most because the information gathered here are primarily used for correcting suggestions to change as well as acceptance and confirming of the person's subconscious 